Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Ito po yung uh, Math 1, Chapter 3, Exercise Set 3.1, page 66 na po tayo. Sasagutan po natin yung number 19. Pero, pag diniscuss ko po ito, ibig sabihin, tayo na pong masagutan yung number 17, 18, tsaka 20. Bakit? Dahil i-discuss ko po ng buo ito kasi pare-pareho lang naman. Susundin lang natin kung ano yung solusyon dito, okay? So, ganito po yan. Napapansin nyo, dito sa libro, merong inclined plane 1. Yung uh, distance niya ay 0, 8. Uh, distance niya ay 0, 8, 32, 72, 128, saka 20. Tapos sa inclined plane 2, is 0, 6.5, 26. Uh, 58.5, 104, tsaka 162.5. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, nilagyan ko ng velocity. Kasi yung rolling ball na yon, yung distance divided by time, yun po ang velocity ng uh, rolling ball natin na yun. So, meaning, nilagyan ko po ng velocity. So, paano po ang velocity? Ibig sabihin, ang formula ng velocity is distance divided by second. So, meaning ganito. 8 divided by 1 is 8. So, ang unit po nito ay centimeter per second. Yung 32 naman po, divided by 2, 16. Dito sa kabila, 26 divided by 2 is 13. Ganon po yun. 32 divided by 2 is 16. So, dinivide lang natin. So, tingnan nyo lang tong table natin. Okay? So, basta tingnan nyo lang po yung table. Okay, so ganito po 'yan. Yung number 2, sabi sa number uh, sa number 19, second second t for uh, from 0 to 1. So kung sa inclined plane 1, ito po siya magiging ganito po siya. So inclined plane 1 kung sa plane 1, ang magiging sagot po natin is yung tingnan natin yung pangalawang second. Ito yung pangalawang second. Yung pangalawang second is 32. Okay? So, meaning, ang velocity niya ay 16. So, velocity niya ay 16. So, meaning, ibig sabihin, yung, velocity, yung D1 or distance 1 or distance 0 at time 0, ibig sabihin is 16 times 0. Kasi imumultiply lang po natin yun. Imumultiply po natin ang, pag nakuha po yung distance, ganito po kasi yung distance. Distance is equals to V uh, over uh, second. So kung imultiply po natin ito ng second, so makakancel po ang makakancel po ang second. Napapansin nyo? Ayan. So, kung ang, 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 ang velocity, ah, mali tayo na, so, ando natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, pag minultiply natin, yung distance is equals to hmm, velocity. Yung velocity kasi is centimeter or distance per second. Tapos, pag minultiply po natin ang second dyan, ang mangyayari po, makakancel po ang second. So, pag nakancel po ang second, magiging centimeter na po. Yan. Okay? So, ang mangyayari sa second, tingnan natin yung second, okay? yung sa second is 2. So, meaning, ang velocity niya ay 16. So, meaning, uh, at distance 0, yung time na 0, is equals to 16 times 0 and equal to, ang sagot po ay 0. Tapos, sa distance na 1, at 1 second, so, meaning, yung distance na 1 second, so, ibig sabihin, multiply lang natin yun ng 1 second. So, meaning, 16 times 1, and our answer is, our answer is, our answer is 16. 16 centimeter. So, meaning, yung distance ng, sa 2 seconds is, yung distance na po natin is equal to, is equal to, Distance 1 minus distance 0, which is equals to 16 minus 0, 
and that will be 16 centimeter. Yun po yung sagot dyan. Okay? So, 16 centimeter. Yan na po yung sagot. Sa inclined plane na 1. Now, kung sa inclined plane na number 2, ganun din po ang gagawin natin. So, sa inclined plane na number 2, so, we have D0 is equal to ano po, 13. So, 13 times 0 is equals to equals to 0. Tapos, yung sa D1 naman is equals to 13 times 1 which is equals to 13 centimeter. Okay? So, 13 centimeter. So, meaning, ang distance sa plane to, distance is equals to 13 minus 0 and that will be equal to 13 centimeter na po. Kung sa inclined plane na sa number 2. Okay? So, ganun po ang sagot natin. Now, dito naman po sa letter B. Sasagutan natin letter B. Sa letter B, yung third second, third second, tingnan natin, is 72, 24. So, ibig sabihin, 24. 24 po ang velocity. 24 centimeter per second. So, ibig sabihin, at T0, D2, then, that is, 24 times 2, which is equals to 48 centimeter. Tapos, yung D3 natin, yung time na 3 natin, is equals to 24 times 3, which is equals to, equals to 70, 72. Okay? So, 24 times 3, 72. 72. So, ang mangyayari po, yung distance natin, yung distance natin is equals to this D3 minus D2, and that will be equal to 72 minus 24, at ang sagot po natin is 24 centimeter. So, ganun po yun. Okay? So, this is 72. Okay? So next is yung kung dito naman sa inclined plane na to. Okay? Inclined plane to. So dito usog natin. Dito is equals to inclined plane sa third second 19.5 times 2. At ang sagot po natin is 19.5 times 2, 19.5 times 2, 39. So, 39 po ang sagot natin, 39. Tapos, yung isa naman po is D3. Yung D3 is equals to 19.5 pa rin, 19.5 times 3. At ang sagot po natin is, sagot po natin is, Sagot po natin is 19.5 times 3. Ang sagot po natin ay 58.5. So, 58.5. So, ang mangyayari, yung D po natin is equals to 58.5 minus 39. And that will be equal to minus 39. So, magiging 19.5. So, 19 0.5 centimeters. Kung dito naman po sa plane number 2. Okay? So, lagyan natin. Ito ay, ito yung sagot nito ay plane 2. Lagyan na natin ng P2. P2. Ibig sabihin. It, ah, P1. P1 pala ito. So, and this is P1. P1. Plane 1. Ito sa plane P2. Ito naman na 16, ito sa plane 1. Tapos, ito naman sa plane 2. Okay? So, madali lang kasi kinuha na natin yung velocity. Okay? So, sa fourth second naman, sa plane uh, plane 2 tayo. Uh, plane 1. P1. Yan, P1. 
So B, B3 is equals to, yung fourth second, D3 is 32. Kasi nandiyan, oh, 32 yung velocity niya. So 32 times 3. At ang sagot po ay 32 times 3. Ang sagot po ay 32 times 3. Ang sagot po ay 96. 96 po. 96. Tapos, yung isa, yung D, D4 is equals to 32 pa rin. 32 times 4. At ang sagot po natin is 32 times 4, 128. 128. So magiging yung distance natin is equals to 100. Ganun din. D4 minus D3. Yung time ha. Yung D4 na yun is time na 4 seconds. Tapos yung D3 is time distance ha. 3 seconds. Yung D4 is distance ha. 4 seconds is equals to 1 to 8 minus 96. At ang sagot po natin ay sagot po natin is 32. Okay. So 32 centimeter. Kung dito naman po sa plane 2, yeah, plane 2. Okay. So plane 2 D3 is equals to sa plane 2 fourth second is 26. So 26 times 3. And that is equal to 26 times 3. That is equals to 78. Yeah, 78 centimeter yan. Centimeter. Tapos, yung D4 is equals to 26 times 4. That will be equal to 26 times 4. So, 104. 104 centimeter. So, ang mangyari, ang distance natin, ang distance natin is equals to Ganun din, D4 minus D3, uh, D3, that is equal to uh, 104 minus 78, and that will be equal to 26, okay, so 26, 26 centimeter, okay. Last, yung pahuli, yung number, letter D, so, sagutan natin letter D, ganito po, yan. Yung letter D, sa plane number, uh, plane, inclined plane 1, yung D4 is equals to, sa plane number 40, 40 yung velocity. So, 40 times 4 is equal to 160 centimeter. Okay? The next, yung D5, is equals to 40 times 5. And that will be equal to 200. So, meaning, as a D, uh, meaning, ang distance natin is equals to D5 minus D4, which is equal to 200 centimeter cm minus 160 cm. And that will be D natin is equals to 40. So, 40 centimeters. Ganun po. Sa plane number 2, inclined plane number 2, plane number 2, ang D4 po ay yung 5th second is 32.5. So, 32.5 times 4 second okay, is equal to times 4. So, equal to 32.5 times 4, 130. 130 centimeter. Tapos, yung D5, D5 is equal to 32.5 times 5. And that will be equal to 
162.5 cm. So, D5, yung distance natin is equals to D5 minus D4 is equal to 162.5 minus 130 at ang D po natin ay equal to 130. 32.5, 32.5 centimeter. Okay? So, ganun po yan. Okay? So, sana naintindihan niyo po ang discussion. Ito yung number 7, 8, 9, uh, number 17, 18, tsaka 20. Kayang-kayang niyo pong sagutan yan. Ganito lang gawin niyo. Okay? So, nagawa ako ng isa pang table para sa velocity. Para mas madali po. Okay? So, nag- Uh, Nag-introduce po ako dito ng isang formula. So, centimeter uh, distance divided by time is what we call your velocity. Tandaan niyo po yan. Okay? So, sana naintindihan niyo po ito. At don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.